Number 10. Although Dracula is a work of fiction, it does contain some historical references. Vlad the Impaler. Remember that guy? He was also known as Vlad Dracula. During his main reign from 1456 to 1462, Vlad the Impaler is said to have killed from 40,000 to 100,000 European civilians, political rivals, criminals, and anyone he considered useless to humanity, mainly by impaling. Doesn't sound like someone you really want for a friend, but hey, he existed. Number 9. So I bet that you thought that Bilbo Baggins was based off of nothing. Well, that's not totally true. The skeletal remains of several diminutive Paleolithic hominids were discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2004. These tiny people named Homo florensiensis, after the island on which the remains were found were informally dubbed hobbits by their discoverers in a series of articles published in the scientific journal Nature. This is actually pretty darn cool. Hey Bilbo Baggins, what's up? Number 8. In addition to his own experience on the whaling ship Akushnet, two actual events served as the genesis for Herman Melville's tale. One was the sinking of the Nantucket ship Essex in 1820 after it was rammed by an enraged swarm whale 2,000 miles from the western coast of uh, South Africa. First mate Owen Chase, one of the eight survivors, recorded the events in his 1821 narrative, the most extraordinary and distressing shipwreck of the whale ship Essex. The other event was the alleged killing in the 1830s of the albino sperm whale Mocha Dick. Yeah, Mocha Dick. Wow. Number 7. The Berserkers were Norse warriors who are primarily reported in the Old Norse literature to have fought in a nearly uncontrollable trance-like fury, a characteristic which later gave rise to the English word berserk. Berserkers are attested to in numerous Old Norse sources. Most historians believe that the Berserkers worked themselves into a rage before battle, while the idea that they consumed drugged foods has also been suggested. Yeah guys, hate to tell you this, but these guys were real and they meant business. Huh, forget the Vikings, these guys were up and coming. Oh yeah. Number 6. The Kraken. Wondering if it was real? Well, let's find out. Since the late 18th century, the Kraken have been depicted in a number of ways, primarily as large octopus-like creatures, and it has often been alleged that the Pontopidans Kraken might have been based on sailors' observation of the giant squid. The Kraken is also depicted to have spikes on its suckers. In the earliest descriptions, however, the creatures were more crab-like than octopus-like, and generally possessed traits that are associated with large whales rather than with giant squid. Some traits of the Kraken resemble undersea volcanic activity occurring in the Iceland region, including bubbles of water, sudden dangerous currents, and appearance of new islets. Number 5. African Unicorn? Well, it's not really a unicorn, but it did exist. Better known as the Okapi, also known as the Forest Giraffe or Zebra Giraffe, is a giraffe aerodactyl mammal native to the Aturi Rainforest located in the northeast section of the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. Although the Okapi bears striped markings remnants of the zebras, it is most closely related to the giraffe. The Okapi and the giraffe are the only living members of the family Giraffidae. The animal was brought to prominent European attention by speculation on its existence found in popular press reports. Pretty cool stuff, if I say so myself. Number 4. Ah, the dire wolf was an extinct carnivorous mammal of the genus Canis, roughly the size of the extant gray wolf, but with a heavier build. It was most common in North America and South America from the Irvingtonian stage to the Ranclobrian stage of the Piascondian stage, Epic Living to 10,000 years ago, persisting for approximately 1.79 million years. It averaged about 1.5 meters, about 5 foot in length, and weighed between 50 and 79 kilograms, so about 110 and 174 pounds, which made it the largest species in the genus Canis. That, my friends, is pretty terrifying that this guy actually existed. Who knew? Number 3. The Amazons, women warriors, are believed to have lived in Pontus, which is a part of modern-day Turkey, near the southern shore of the Euxine Sea, the Black Sea. 
There they formed an independent kingdom under the government of a queen named Hippolyta. This area is known to have been occupied in the Late Bronze Age by a transhuman group known to the Hittites as the Casca. Though they were not directly known to Greeks, modern archaeologists have detected that they finally defeated their enemies. The Hittites, about 1200 BCE, they left no inscriptions. These women were real, and they were real badass. That's for sure. Wow. Number two. Ah, so you want to know about the Amugi, huh? Korean folk mythology states that the most dragons were originally Amugis, or lesser dragons, which were said to resemble gigantic serpents. There are a few different versions of Korean folklore that describe what Amugis are and how they aspire to become full-fledged dragons. Koreans thought that an Amugi could become a true dragon, or young, if it caught a Yuju, which had fallen from heaven. Another explanation states that there are hornless creatures resembling dragons who have cursed us and thus were unable to become dragons. But all when it comes down to it, these were real. Hate to tell you, but they sure were. Pretty amazing. Number one. Ah yes, dragons. Dragons are among the most popular and enduring of the world's mythological creatures. Dragon tales are known in many cultures from the Americas to Europe to India and to China. Some have actually suggested that because dragons are known around the world, well, that they really existed at some point in the distant past. I mean, think about it. Otherwise, how could different cultures on different continents describe the exact same thing? There's some food for thought. So, all in all, dragons evidently really were existed. They found them in ice, they found them preserved. Hey, if the dinosaurs could be real, why couldn't dragons? Think about it, and now you know. So what was your favorite mythical creature from this video? Tell us in the comments. We want to hear from you. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on our Twitter. Those links are in the description right down below. And every time you follow us and tweet us and post a Facebook comment, you might have a chance to be in one of our videos. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up like button down below and please share it on social media. It really helps our channel grow and helps us bring you more fun content. So click right here to watch another video. Come on. You know you want to. They're addicting, aren't they? Well, at least we think so. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.